Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the error message 1720. There was a problem with this Windows installer package. A script required for this insult to complete could not be run. Contact your support personnel or package vendor. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So you want to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match to come back with registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. So in order to create a backup, all you have to do is select file and then export. File name and recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever needed to import it back in, all you have to do is select file and then import and then navigate to the file location. So now we're ready to begin. So double click on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder. You should note whatever name in the error message will say the file or registry key path. So right click on whatever that software folder is. So it'll probably say HKLM, which is HK local machine. That's what it's short for. And then it'll be software. And then there's going to be a backslash in the name of the software that you're having the problem with. You would right click on whatever that product software is. And then you would delete it. You would select delete. And then once you're done, you would go ahead and restart your computer. If you needed to reinstall the application, you may have to do that, which is you know possible. And again, I would suggest you make sure you have anything backed up to the cloud. If you're using a software vendor package, make sure if you're able to get into the software, make sure it's backed up and saved somewhere before you do that. But then again, once you're done with the registry, you want to go ahead and restart your computer. And then hopefully at this point, your issue should have been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.